So to Hermitage High School we go, where Hermitage hosting Glenn Allen, and the question of who would seize momentum? Well, early and often, it was the Jags. First quarter highlights, William the first Noel runs right for a good gain in a first down. He had a big night for the Glen Allen Jaguars. Then Milwitt, the quarterback, finds Adrian Mosley good for a first down with a lead of this. It's Moss time. Save your Moss. To Painter, and he finds the end zone. Touchdown, Glen Allen. Jaguars with an early 7-0 lead. Meanwhile, Hermitage wasn't having a problem offensively except for, you guessed it, turnovers. And Glen Allen, give their defense credit. They forced some as well. Big sack, big hit on Karon Burton. Leads to a turnover, and it would lead to this. Good teams turn turnovers into points. Glen Allen looking like a good team in the first half. Second touchdown of the night already for William the first Noel. Touchdown, Glen Allen. It's now 14 to nothing. Second quarter switching sides. Millwit. You saw him do it with his arm. Now do it with his legs. And he'll point. Yup, first down. We we'll lead to this. Millwit. Roll out. Here's a moment of good defense from Hermitage. Number nine. Damon Artis with the sack. And then Hermitage gets it back, but watch out, it's a fumble! The opportunistic Glenn Allen defense takes over inside the Hermitage 10-yard line. This would be a big moment because the Hermitage defense would stand tall and did not allow Glenn Allen into the end zone. Remember the goal line stand, but also remember that Hermitage's offense kept giving the ball back to Glenn Allen's defense. The ball is intercepted! Jags in business again as number seven, Christian Robinson Clark puts Glenn Allen in great field position and then Millwit knows what to do with it. Throws it deep to the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Glenn Allen. Will Noel, a 19 yard touchdown catch. And just like that, Glenn Allen late in the second quarter up 21 nothing. Hermitage needs a score before the half or they are Dunsky. Well, K. Ron Burton answers the call. Pass caught. Got a man to his right. It's number eight, Rion Gunnell. Gunnell does well to haul that in. Then Burton, not going to make it in the end zone. Offensive line says, don't worry, buddy. We'll carry in if you're not going to get in on your own. They do just that. Touchdown, Hermitage. And don't lose sight of how big that drive was for the Panthers because instead of being out of it, they're only down two scores, 21-7 at the half. Then second half, okay, they're dropping the football still, but it's going out of bounds. Give it to the big dog. Jeremiah Coney, foot long for the touchdown. And it's 21-14 now. It truly is anyone's game. Late in this one, CBS 6 with a little help. Burton on the rollout, finds his receiver, Walt Brooks, and it's set it up for this. Braden McGinnity for the winning field goal as time expires. He got it. He got it. He did it last year against Patrick Henry. He does it on the final drive for Hermitage in this one against Glen Allen. And they erase a three touchdown deficit and come all the way back to win it 24 21.